Hi everyone, in this video, I will demonstrate how to use the OSRM trip service to solve the traveling salesman problem. I will start by explaining the TSP and how OSRM tackles it. Then I will walk you through a notebook I created specifically for this tutorial, which you can access via the link to my GitHub repository in the video description. As mentioned at the start of this video, the strip service is designed to solve the traveling salesman problem. The problem involves having a connected graph where the goal is to start from one node, visit all other nodes and return to the starting point. In this image, you can see that node number one is marked in green, indicating it as the starting point. Point number 13, which serves as the end point, is the same as the starting point, completing the cycle. OSRM offers flexibility in solving the TSP by allowing us to customize the problem. Specifically, we can define separate start and end point, which don't have to be the same. In this image, you can see the result of using the trip service with these options, where the start and end points are located at different nodes. OSRM uses two different algorithms to solve the TSP. They are selected based on the number of nodes in the graph. For fewer than 10 points, OSRM uses the brute force algorithm to explore all possible solutions in order to find the optimal one. However, when dealing with 10 or more points, OSRM switches to a greedy heuristic algorithm to efficiently navigate the larger search space. Now let's go to the notebook to see how to use the trip service. First, if you want to read more about the trip service, please click on this hyperlink. After that, start by loading the dataset. You will find it on the GitHub repository. Since I am working with the Morocco map, I randomly selected some cities from that country to demonstrate how the trip service works. If you are using another country, make sure to create your own dataset. Now let's create a folio map and add those points as markers. And here is how the map looks like. We have 12 points in different cities in Morocco. To use the service, you have the general options and additional options. I will focus on the additional options since we talked about the general options before in the previous notebooks. Here are the available additional options for this service. We have round trip. This is a boolean indicating whether the algorithm should return to the starting location or not. Source defines the starting point. Here you can specify any so that OSRM selects the source node randomly or the first point. Destination is the same. You can specify either any or less. If you specify any, OSRM will use any point as the destination point. But if you select less, it will use the last point in the list. To make the request, follow this endpoint format. It is similar to the route service, but there are some differences, especially in the additional options. I have two examples that I want to show you in this notebook. In the first one, we will not fix the source and destination point. We will let OSRM choose them randomly. Here again, we have the general options and below that we make the request. Let me run this to make sure that it is working. Yes, we get 200, which means that the request was successful. We can extract the trip from the response because these are the fields that we have in this data object. And we should be able to get one trip because OSRM always returns the fastest route. And this is why we are indexed. We are getting the first index. This output should be familiar to you. It is exactly the same thing that we got in the route service. You get the geometry, you get the individual legs, the weight, duration of the route and the distance. Next, we will create some helper functions like the create marker method. This function takes a point and adds it to the volume map as a marker. 
but we are using CSS to customize it. This is how we will be able to give the, the node a green color or a red color or any other color if you like because we have this background color parameter that we can give to this method. We also have the add polyline method. This one takes a list of points and basically draws the legs. Finally, we have this get popup HTML. It will generate the HTML for the popup and in that popup we will show the distance in kilometers, the duration in this specific format. We will have the hours, minutes and seconds. Why? Because we have uh, here it, we are traveling between cities so that will take hours instead of minutes or seconds this is why i made this function to basically give me these values in an html format let's run the next cell and see the output as you can see the start point is colored in green while the end point is colored in red both points are the same here i have added an offset just to see them both but this shows you that by default, OSRM will make a round trip. If it selects a point, it will go back to it at the end. If I click on the legs, I can see the distance in kilometers. In this case, it's 71 kilometers and the duration, which is 55 minutes. Let's select a bigger leg. This one, for example, the distance is 550 kilometers and the duration is six hours. So this shows you that the helper method that we created helped us add this pop-up functionality. Let me show you what we have in the code. It's simple. Here we are creating the folio map. We have the list of colors and we extract the legs. You can see that here we start with the red color. Then we go to using black, red, black, etc. This is why I have just two colors so that I can alternate between them. So from the legs, I extract the geometry from the steps dictionary this will give me the the points that that i can use to draw the polyline so i get the starting coordinates after that i convert that to a point object this point object is will be used to draw these markers that you can see after that we will give that point to the create marker if this is the first index we will give that a green color if it isn't we will use this light blue color Again, we have this y offset variable. Here it is set to 10. We are using that just in the first point because these two will overlap if we don't add the y offset. Let me show you that. If I change this to zero and this one also to zero, you can see that here one and 13 are basically in the same location. That's why they are overlapping and we have 13 on top of one. So I added that offset variable to be able to see them both. And we are adding the offset just for the first and last points. So after draw, after adding the marker, here we extract the coordinates from the steps and we give those to the polyline method to basically draw the, the legs that you see here. After we finish, if we don't add this part, we will have a problem because here the number of legs is equal to the number of nodes minus one. So if I don't add this part, we will not see the last point. As you can see, the last point is, miss is missing because the for loop will run n minus one times where n is the number of points that we started with. This is why we are missing that one and we extract it from here. We take the last leg and we take the last point. We convert that into a point object. We give that to the create marker and that creates our missing point, which in this case is number 13. Now we will move to the second example. This time we will fix the start and end points by using first and last. Let me show you. Everything will stay the same, but in this parameters, dictionary we add three things here source is set to first destination is set to last and we don't want a round trip we want to start at the source point and end at the destination point we make the request we extract the trip everything is the same even this part will will stay the same we'll we will change nothing we basically changed the we added the additional options to the request and as you can see the start point and end point are no longer overlapping and everything stayed the same if i zoom in and click on the leg you can see that the distance did not change but the overall route changed because this time we don't require to 
make a round trip, start at the starting point and go back to it at the end. This is why we got a different solution this time. We arrived at the end of this video. I hope you found it interesting. In the next one, we will talk about the tile service. See you next time.